Hey Gus. Hey Marvin. Oh, you know how badly I did in that class test on Monday? You mean the geography test? Yeah. I only got 13 out of 20 correct. <laughs> that makes the two of us. Hey Gus, I'm gonna let you in on a little secret. Mm. Wanna take a guess at what the you've, secret is? You've been wearing pir piranhas in your house all these years. It's worse than that actually. I've actually been failing my geography test for the past year. <laughs> You're joking. It's true. That's actually why I'm here. I wanted to ask you if I could join your study group. Whoa. My study group. <laughs> you know, ever since I started that study group, Marvin, you've been calling my study buddies, um... A bunch of nerds. You don't like that, Marvin. I know, Gus. I'm sorry. Okay? Uh, I was a bit of an idiot. And with the midterms coming, I was just hoping... <laughs> Apology accepted, Marvin. I'll talk to the guys. Oh, anyway. Did you hear that Lena and Zurida are coming back on Sunday? Yeah, I got their email too. <laughs> Alright, All right. see you. Cheers, mate. So boys, are you ready for today's lesson? Yes. Let me get our screen going. Right, if you remember the last time we studied conjunctions, Today, we shall look at prepositions. I know prepositions. They are words used together with nouns and pronouns. Quite right. In fact, prepositions are words that help nouns, pronouns, verbs, and even adjectives relate to an object. Wow. Well, let's see what Gus said to you as an example. I only got 13 out of 20 correct. Well, here the preposition is out of because it links the noun 13 to the object 20 questions. That is right. But Aunt Mabel, uh, out of is two words. Does that mean that a preposition can be more than one word? Yes, it can. It could be one, two or even three words sometimes. Oh. So let's look at this example. There were four people standing in front of Jessica. Standing is the verb relating to Jessica, the object. So, the preposition connecting the two should be in front of. Oh, yeah, there's a preposition with three words. Great, now you see it. I am sure you'll be able to easily identify the prepositions in the next few sentences. That makes the two of us. All because it relates the noun to to the pronoun us. It's true, practice makes perfect. Tell us some more. Did you hear that Lena and Zurida are coming back on Sunday? Yeah. On is the preposition, also indicating time on Sunday. Very good, gentlemen. Hey Gus, um, thanks a lot for letting me join your study, your study group. I really appreciate it. You're, you're welcome, my friend. But remember, no snide remarks to the others. Yes, sir. I hear you loud and clear. Are the others come actually coming? Yeah, um... Razman and Sam will be coming later. But I think... Janice can't make it. Uh, anyway, Marvin, I've been going through some prepositions since your aunt taught us yesterday, and I've learned quite a bit about how to use them correctly. Oh, oh is that so? Good for you. Yeah, but I'm sure you're already an expert in prepositions. Actually, not really, actually. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes when you think you're good in English, you tend to be complacent. You could do with a little practice, buddy. Okay, um... First, prepositions are words used to connect nouns, pronouns, verbs and such to objects in sentences. 
an example would be the old man enjoyed the sunset while walking along the river. The preposition is along. Right. My turn. I am very proud of my friend Gus because he is working very hard to improve his English. Preposition is proud of. Correct. Oh, Marvin, you really are. Yeah. I mean, look at you. You just so much of your English has improved in such a short time. <sighs> Thanks, Marvin. And hey, you use two prepositions, at and in. Well done. As you've seen, prepositions are some of the most common types of building blocks to form sentences. That's because they connect verbs, nouns, pronouns, and adjectives to other words. Mm. Let's try and recap some of the prepositions that we learned in our earlier lessons. We've got to, out of, in front of, with, at, since, from, on. Mm. Yes, we should try making our own sentences with the prepositions we just learned. And here are a few more prepositions, many of which I'm sure you will be familiar with. Until, after, before, during, within, across, so that. As I have said before, the more you use a language, the better you will be in it. See you again next time.